In this video, I'll show you how to connect to a SQL database, select data using our Query Builder, and pass a dashboard parameter to a SQL query or stored procedure. I already have our Dashboard Designer open. When you create a new dashboard, our wizard appears. First, you need to choose the data source type. I'll select Database and click Next. On the next page, you can select any supported data provider. I'll leave Microsoft SQL Server. We'll use localhost as a database server and Windows Authentication as a default authentication type. I'll select the Northwind database from the list and click Next. Here we can either create a SQL query or select a stored procedure. I'll create a new one and click Run Query Builder. On the left, you can see the list of tables and views available in the Northwind database. Scroll down and select Salesperson and you'll see all of its columns here. When I drag the salesperson over, you'll see our column chooser appear. I can check the top box to choose all columns or select each one by one. I'll just add the order date and extended price. Then I'll drag the orders table over. Our join editor appears where we can create a relationship between the tables. I'll create a relationship where the order's order ID is equal to the salesperson's order ID. Then click OK. You'll see our tables are now connected. And if I place the cursor here, I can preview the relationship or click on it to edit or delete. Click Preview Results to look at the underlying data from our columns. All right, let's click OK and then Finish to complete the wizard. Now let's add some dashboard elements. First, I'll add a chart. Drag the extended price to values, ship country to arguments, and order date to series. Let's filter our data source. Go to the Data Source ribbon tab and click Filter. In the Filter Editor, create a new condition to display only data corresponding to the specified ship countries. In this video, I'll choose France and Germany. and click OK. The chart now only shows data for our two countries. Let's look at how to filter our data source dynamically by selecting specific countries. To do this, we first need to add a new query providing access to a list of available countries. Click Add Query, drag and drop orders, and select the Ship Country column. Click OK and then Finish. Our data source now contains two queries, the initial salesperson query and the newly added orders query. Let's switch to the Home ribbon tab and click Parameters. I'll add a new parameter, set its name to Ship Country, and specify the required description. Then, set the lookup settings to dynamic list. Select our data source and choose the orders query as a data member. Then select the ship country field as a value member. Enable multi-selection using the allow multi-select option. Finally, select a set of default parameter values and click OK to finish. Now we need to pass the created parameter to the data source filter. Select the Salesperson Query, switch to the Data Source ribbon tab, and click Filter. Remove the existing condition and create a new one. Select the Ship Country column. Then, select the Is Any Of operator. And finally, click the button Place Next to the Enter a Value Placeholder two times. Choose Select a Parameter, and then Bind to Ship Country. Click OK. Our chart will be filtered accordingly. To change these values dynamically, click the button in the Dashboard Title and select the required countries in the Dashboard Parameters dialog. Now let's look at how to connect the dashboard to a stored procedure. Create a new dashboard,
connect it to the Northwind database. This time, I'll choose Stored Procedure in the wizard. You will see all of the available stored procedures below. Select Customer Product Details and click Next. The data source wizard automatically added the parameter that should be passed. Specify the default value and click Finish. The data source browser will display the data source structure and indicate that the stored procedure does not support the server mode. Add a grid to the dashboard. Then add the product name, description, units in stock, and unit price fields to columns. The grid displays data related to the customer ID specified as a stored procedure parameter. To perform a stored procedure call according to the specified dashboard parameter, let's create a new data source containing customer ID values. Click Add Query. Run the Query Builder and add the Customers table with the customer ID and company name columns. Then, add a new dashboard parameter. Specify its name, description, select the data source and data member. Use the customer ID as a value member and company name as a display member. Finally, specify the default parameter value. Click OK. Go to our stored procedure again. Enable the expression checkbox and select the created parameter. Click Finish. Now, you can see each company's data that's selected. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our dashboards, make sure to check out the documentation on our website. Or, watch any of our other videos from our dashboards playlist. You can also subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos and updates. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.